Hello, this is De Mai. Today we are shooting a follow-up episode from the previous discussion that we already talked about the data mi- database migration from AWS to Alibaba Cloud. In the previous episode, we are using database migration service from AWS. Today we are talking about a similar tool, but it's built by Alibaba Cloud. So instead of using the DMS from AWS, we're using this state transmission service, short for DTS, that is built by Alibaba Cloud. The DTS is a very similar tool that supports data migration and the synchronization between different data engines, and particularly for relational database. As of today, we'll talk about how to do that for PostgreSQL. And this is also one of the tools that you can special leverage for the database migration. And they are also provide the similar functionalities like migrating the existing data and also including the incremental data migration and the replication. For the pre-setup, please reference to the previous episode. And for today, we already set up the PostgreSQL on AWS and also the PostgreSQL on Alibaba Cloud. So first, we will log on to the one on AWS on the upper right corner. Here, we already have one database that's set up that mimic the online retailer. And we use our simulation program to insert the four row there. For the database that on Alibaba Cloud, We yet create this database yet. Okay, go to Alibaba Cloud. We'll find the service under database and utility on the top one, data transmission service. Go ahead to purchase one of the jobs here. We like to do a migration. Data migration and uh, since both of our database are created on in Singapore region, we will choose that one. Currently, use the small one. After active this service. We go to the console. We find the console that for DTS uh, doing data migration. We will create a new migration task. Do a name here. So here, the source is the PostgreSQL on AWS. So we need to use the user created database using the public IP address. The, the database type is PostgreSQL. We need to access it through the host name or IP address. That's the one we just used. the host name, the port number, also the username is NIDM, the database is the my database username. Uh, 
Well, for here, we need to set it one more thing. We are access this AWS PostgreSQL using the public IP address. So we have to set up that, also allow that to be accessible. So here, we will need to get the IP address segment for the DTS service. We do a copy. That is a range of uh, IP address for all of them in uh, Singapore region. Copy here. Close it. We will go to AWS. I have so RDS. This is our PostgreSQL. For set up the con connectivities that we just mentioned, we need to set up that for the uh, connection through the security group. It's the inbound rule. So I did that. So we will need to edit one more rule here for PostgreSQL. Here, well, Papa Cloud. Flip the rule. So it showed up here. Let's go back. Now we can test the connectivity. Well, it's doing the testing and fill up this one. Oh, it passed already. That means we have accessibility to the AWS from the DTS to the AWS PostgreSQL. Here, the target database is uh, within Alibaba Cloud. And since I'm using the same ID, so it can automatically detect the, uh, uh, the RDS instance. There are several of them. The one I'm using is here, PostgreSQL. And um, just to make sure, so I'm accessed is here and uh, using this IP address and the uh, database name and username. Same thing, doing the testing. Okay, also passed. Can go to the next one. Because they have the access to that, they already be able to find the schema names and set the tables and underline this uh, source database. So we will do both schema migration. As we shared earlier, the database haven't been created on the target yet. We will just migrate the schema. For data migration, that's the existing four row on it. And to mimic the similar uh, situation that we also have a running workload on it, we will also include the uh, incremental data migration here. So let's find the table where it is. Okay, this is the one I will do that. So I click that. And for this one, we'll just have that. Let's do a pre-check. Okay, all passed. Next. We will confirm the setting. We use a small one since we are doing a, a testing here. Okay, this is the one we just did. This is the one we just created. It takes a, a few minutes for the migration to kick off. 
and complete the schema migration first, then the full data migration, as it showed here. And it also show four row of data are migrate, migrated. We'll take a look here. And all the four rows here. Well, the migration not done yet because we just finished the full data migration. And we need to test whether the incremental data migration work or not. So as demonstrated before, we will use the simulator to make sure we connect. We set the environment variable to insert the data to the AWS the Postgres instance. OK. We'll insert some row here. Now it's connect and began to insert. You began to have more row to the source, the AWS PostgreSQL. And the same thing should get in push hour. Migrate hour. Well, I can tell this work is happening. Also, we can monitor the progress. Doing a manual refresh. Migration is happening. We go in detail here. We can monitor that and also look at the log. Well, it's running. We can look at that. OK. The schema migration is already done. Full data migration, four row completed. Incremental, it takes a little time, but it can already tell it's happening. And also, there are different, uh, just more information to show what is happening some of the performance matrix showing during the migration and also a test log to show the uh, event well in the insert uh, we will give it uh, some time to for all the data come over already about 200 rows there well as you can see, it works very similar as what we described in our previous episode. As the first episode, we using the DMS uh, from AWS. Today, we are using the DTS. Both of them doing the data migration. It's just one from Alibaba Cloud, another is come from Amazon's AWS. And they're doing the similar thing. First, they will migrate a schema. Basically, it creates the similar of uh, the same table uh, as the source on the target, and all then it's doing the full data migration to migrate the existing data from the source to the target, and eventually they are doing the constantly uh, incremental migration, like mimic a uh, online migration period until the window is come that we pick up all the change on the source, then uh, application switch over can be done and we'll stop the migration period and uh, point our application to the new uh, uh, working database instance. Simulation program just finished. We should have the same number of rows on both ends. Yeah, we do have it. So that means the migration is done. And once validated the data, we can see it. Uh, we can switch over to the new database that uh, created and migrated to Alibaba Cloud. Well, we go, before we go there, let's quickly look at the uh, migration service here. We have full migration. We have incremental migration. The uh, that is the information that during the migration, as we can see, it takes a little bit time for the program to finish. Now it's done. That's also an indicator that uh, uh, now it's no job. It's doing the migration. Everything's catch up. 
what we will do is we'll go ahead, remove this job, doing a little bit of cleanup. Let's stop it. And remove this migration task. By removing that means there's no more data will be migrated. So if we do something again, for example, uh, I will insert some more data here. That's another for row to the source. So four more row I did, but our target that's the, the PostgreSQL on the Alibaba Cloud will not receive the new row anymore. Okay, now we are done. And uh, in the real world, you should already uh, switch over your application to the target, uh, to the new working uh, PostgreSQL. Okay, that's all for today. Today we are using DTS, the data transmission service provided by Alibaba Cloud to migrate uh, PostgreSQL from AWS to PostgreSQL. Thank you for watching. Until next time.